Libra, my air babies, positive vibes, motivation, inspiration, love, light, positive energy, goodwill, peace, and healing all your way. Please visit Goat.World where every physical ailment meets a physical healing. Check out my new ebook, Bad Health is Big Business, because it is. I love you. I miss you. Please, uh, let's check out what you have going on for your word of the day. I mean, not word of the day, past, present, and future for your life. Let's see what Lord God, Spirit, Universe, Source, Strength has for you. So let's share your energy. Come on, tap that screen, tap that screen, tap the screen. Come on, Libra. Did you tap the deck, tap the deck, tap the deck. All right, Libra, I love you. I miss you. I send positive energy all your way. Um, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me in the community, and I love that. Lord God, Spirit, Universe, Source, Strength, Jesus Christ, all your angels, please be the only presence in this place. Please use my mind, body, heart, soul, mind, and spirit vocals entire being to be the reflection of you to give an accurate reading to your Libras. I bind every demon, devil, and Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and command them to flee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All right, Libra, let's see what we have for you. We're going to use the Brotherhood of Light, the Egyptian tarot deck, very powerful deck, and we're going to use, we're going to take the reversals as is. We're going to read reversals out. Cards come out. All right, to cut the deck. Come on, I need you to tap the screen, share, share your energy. Tap the screen, tap the screen, tap the screen. Come on, me, bro, did you? Tap the deck, tap the deck, tap the deck. All right, and we're going to see what we have for you today. We're going to cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. Tarot is just a foresight of what's yet to come, but understand you're the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. Therefore, however you want to live your life is how you shall live it. You can change anything from this reading. And as long as you put the energy towards it, this is just give you a highlight. So just understand you are in control of your life. We're going to use the Solomon seal to actually figure out what we have for your past present and future let's see what we do have for my libras libras we're leading with the eight of swords in reverse which is a virgo energy it seems as though very protective on the upright and it is in your mind if you're very protective of what you're thinking right now in the past in reverse it seems as though it's not very stable and great protection of what you have going on but let's see what we have for my eight of swords eight of swords now it's an earth energy the eights are eight is, is also an earth energy you're tapping into the virgo so it's also earth energy uh fixed but when it comes to the Eight of Swords, loss of honor and business, failure, experience. So you're probably thinking, and you may have lost um, honor or maybe for and lost protection of what you think is very, what is honorable, how the world's supposed to go. Maybe you have some type of hardship, <laughs> pardon, where you're not honoring your the past way that you think. Maybe it's an experience that you have experienced that wasn't very great, very fruitful. Or maybe now it, for it to be in the reverse, for the, the Eight of Swords to be in reverse, yeah, uh, maybe you, you maybe it's been a shortcoming. Let's say, let's keep going. Maybe it was a shortcoming of what we have going on. Now, uh, for the next card, we have the Youth of Cups. Youth of Cups in the upright, which is great. So, okay, so maybe so it may have been a shortcoming. And that as we turn that, as we move forward, it is some dark energy around there. So it may have been a shortcoming that you're, but you're surrounded by brightness. So it may have been a small, small shortcoming, probably in the grand scheme of things. But the youth of cups where you're standing in your higher being your higher self with the purple you see that that's your higher self so obviously you with spirit universe source strength with god you're very fruitful because your stars are aligned your head is in the clouds but also you're being strong you presented a cup that also blessings could be rained down look you're youthful you're strong you have energy so uh the youth of cups mm. pisces energy yeah so you're in a magical you've been in a magical frequency we're negative timid timid uh, listless, harmless, influenced by the the by uh, those around. So maybe you believe, maybe you have believed that 
as a young with being in a young mind where you're coming from uh you may have had some loss and then you you're in a you may found to a dark energy or dark thought in your mind you still you still have faith pisces is very optimistic so things can happen but you still look at for a positive while you're in a negative you're embracing love you're embracing your gifts therefore things still or you're still blessed with that but it looks like you're not sure what direction you're going you 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 you're you're moving you're moving forward you're not you're not breaking you're not giving up but you're also not intent on where you're going your next card is the 10 of swords 10 of swords in reverse 10 of swords but you're in a great way of thinking you're in your this is your throat shocker you speak light you speak positivity your youth is still and in your mind you're still thinking in positivity uh this is uh uh, Capricorn, where you're hardworking, but let's see what the what the ten, ten of swords. This cards the tens are are um, ruled by Uranus. Uncommon, uh, uncommon pursuits, sudden changes of fortune, inventions, discoveries, unconventional relations and actions, which is in reverse with the ten of swords. Sudden loss of employment. So either. I say that in your youthful spirit, you may have lost, maybe, maybe you're, you're speaking of change. I, I believe maybe you're speaking of change and either you're leaving a job or you're starting to, to come to a new job, but you're speaking it, maybe you just, you, you, you say in the, the, in the past, where you had uh, this darkness, you're still trying to figure out where you want to go. Maybe you could have lost a job trying to figure out where you go, trying to get in alignment, but you haven't, per you didn't protect what you had. Therefore, you may have lost a job and employment or maybe direction of where you wanted to go. Let's see, so coming into the future, we do have the tray, the three of cups in reverse. Now, why would we have the Three of Cups in reverse? It's Pisces and Cancer energy, magical energy. It goes where it wants to flow, but it's protector, it's a healer, it's optimistic, but it's in reverse. So I'm not sure if you're being optimistic of through the hardships of what you've been going through. Maybe you've been losing a little bit of faith. But the Three of Cups is marriage, love, and research, marriage for love and research. So as things have not been, you've had a youthful energy trying to figure out your way, it didn't go your way, therefore relationships may suffer. That's why I'm pretty, that's why I feel some relationships could be suffering. All right. So as we're heading towards the present, we have the four of coins. Four of coins, which is double Aquarius energy, double Aquarius energy, where you can't tell air where to go, where to flow. Especially money, you can't tell where to go, where to flow. So money could be falling through your hands. That's where you're rooted in. So you're not stable. I feel as though it's not stability when it comes to the four of coins. Money received through partner originality. Um, so possibly you've been being being sustained by partnerships. Maybe you love relationships. So there's been a lot in your youthfulness. You probably lost jobs and people are helping sustain you. And therefore, okay, loss of love. And maybe you've been using people. Maybe that could be true. Maybe that we're in the present time, we're leaving the energy of being self-reliant. Let's put it that way. Self-reliant on others and in and, and a relationship. So then we head towards the youth of coins, but this is in the upright. So wherever we, we've been, we've been in, 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 it's been a thin, dark time. We're all in a dark time where we're transitioning from this, but this is in the upright where the youth of coins, where you have the script, you have the, you know where you're going. You have a, a timeline. You have the there's symbols within the universe, within the sky that you're getting the downloads. So you know where you're going. You're on solid ground. So you're heading in the right direction. But when we have the youth of, hmm, when we have the youth of coins, youth of coins is like we said, is Aquarius, but it's witty, argumentative, artistic, humanitarian, and refined. So. The things that you're rooted in, you're actually going to be profitable in. Um, you understand that you want to be you want to be independent. Possibly is taking on things on your own where you don't want to rely on those relationships. So through loss, youth, 
reliance through others. You're finding your own stability where the youth of coins, you're more witty, you you're, you're, you research things. You're less inclined to just take everything at face value, 10, 10 on the clock. Uh, argumentative, just because people say life is a certain way, you're not just giving into that. You're just not saying, okay, I, I give in. The world must be this way. I must just change. No, you're you're actually being creative and you're finding a way not only to be a blessing to yourself, but you see it downloads your blessing to others, Libra. You're, you're bringing something to the world in this present time, in this present time. All right, so now going to the future, which is a Pisces and Aquarius. Uh, no, this is a Gemini. Gemini and Aquarius. Uh, energy, which is air sign. You can't tell air where to go, where to flow. You can't tell people where to go. But this is the five of coins. So depending on how you think, how you manifest, what you ask for, because obviously you have something that can really help people, but you can shortchange yourself in the universe by not asking for enough, thinking that, you know, you're not supposed to have. This is good. This is a good fortune card. This is good luck. But when it comes to the five of, of coins, abundant wealth and inspiration is in the reverse. So let me. I feel as though you you come from a place of maybe you lost a job, maybe a relationship, but you're you're youthful. You have energy. You, you don't give up. You're still, but you're you're um, uh, what's the word? You're you're still, uh, you still have passion. You still believe. Uh, you you don't. You believe in the darkness, even though you're you believe no pardon. You believe even though there's darkness, there, there's light. You're optimistic. There we go. You're very optimistic. You always believe that it's going to be a brighter day. But then you had a loss of love where you had to rely on or you had a love where you had relied on people. Maybe you relied on people too much and you realize that you don't want to rely on them anymore. Then you find as though the things that you're rooted in, your gifts, you're actually starting to take some independence. Now, as you take independence, it can be lonely. You see a little bit of dark. We're all still transitioning from the dark. There's hieroglyphics. There's messages in the sky, in the sky. That means messages from in your prayers, and you write it down. You make it plain. You actually have a gift that you can turn into abundant wealth as long as you stay positive. Because we are in a dark time, Libra. And honestly, you've been working very hard, too hard to stop now to let anything overtake this really this card that's in the future, abundance and wealth. And it's all in the mind frame is how you speak is how you think and through the the past uh energies that you have you could have been a young energy they could have been a young energy they could have been a young person your energy could have been reactive of a young person where you're like listen i i'm not i'm hurt i'm not working i'm helping i'm going to use the next person like they use me but then you found that no i need to be independent to have my own because people that if you're not helping you're hindering it'll slow you down and you don't want to be slowed down for what you're going 13 13 on the clock so then you're actually tuning into your own energy you're praying more in tune with nature more with spirit you're getting your downloads but all as long as you don't Act in your youth and act immature. You actually are mature and you are, can be trusted with your blessings. You will be not only mentally, spiritually rich, but you'll be abundantly rich and wealthy with inspiration, elevation, with downloads of how to use your money, how to be able to create business. To Because faith without works are dead. Nothing just falls from the sky, but great ideas do where if you act on them, you will be able to create the life that you have and you want for yourself and the right people will fall right into place. All right, guys, so please like, share, comment, subscribe. This page has been a blessing to you. I love you. I love you. Please stay positive, Libra, and I'll check you out later.